Well, welcome back to Weekend Dawn with myself, Hazel Wilson, and Jacob Mushokwa. Well, we're with you here on Newsroom Africa, DSTV Channel 405, between 6 and 9 o'clock today. Now, after a festive season full of celebrations, parties, family visits, and experiments with colorful hairstyles, January is a more serious time. Parents want to make sure that their families are ready for the academic year and generally prepare for the year to come. Now, we are joined in studio by the Guanes. Uh, they are obviously known as Mzanti's greatest family. And they're in studio to discuss some of the steps that they've taken in preparation for their family for the 2020 school year. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, okay, let me see what I got. Right. So, Kosi, yeah, yeah, Bikes. Yeah. Mate Bojo, yes. Momo, yeah. and Tesman. Tesman, head of the family. Head of the family, yes. right. <laughs> so let's go back to 2019, December. Wow. And wow. uh, this, uh, you know, interesting debacle happened. Momo, you were involved in the situation. There was a little temper tantrum that you threw. What was happening with you and, and that hairstyle of Shoma Josie? I like it because she was colorful on her hair. Okay, so so before we 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 I want to look at what you actually said. Let's take a look at what happened in December. With the Shoma Josie thing, uh, we've seen something out of Momo that we've never saw, that, that, that we've never seen before. Because now she's always dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing, showing us the moves that we've never seen, thanks to the Shoma Josie hairstyle. Momo can't go to school with this hairstyle. Are you saying this one is going off? Definitely. Mzazi's <laughs> <laughs> greatest family. So Momo, you don't have a hairstyle anymore. So how does it feel to not have the hairstyle? I feel good. Is it? So it, does, it doesn't matter that you had to take the colour out of your hair? Yes. Okay, and then when you actually got to, to get the hairstyle, how did you feel? You said you love colour. I felt the hair pink. Oh, were, you, were you inspired to do some of the moves? Were you inspired to do some of the moves? Yes. Yes. I want to see some of that later. Okay, guys, it's worth the rest of it because I can see a bunch of awesome people here. Um, I mean, getting these kids ready for school, there's three of them. You've got your own family business. Tesman, you also said you're on radio at midnight. What does this hustle look like on a day to day basis? Uh, guys, I've got a crazy family. <laughs> Uh, a very crazy family that keeps me young. I'm 43, but I really I feel 18 because of this guy. Uh, every day of my life is a party because of these guys. Uh, then uh, now we back to school. Uh, we've been uh, like uh, having a very serious problem here. Just to it's a problem because uh, before we could cut the show my was here, uh, she was not willing. She was not like, Daddy, I'm going to school with the hairstyle. Then we've got to play with her that Momo, please, it's time for school now. We are taking off the the show Majosi hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. And you know, me, at least I am like, be spoiling her, but coming to this side here, mommy, wow, 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 she was not like, I am a mommy. Yes, mm -mm. my devoto was like, no, this is not happening. Mm -hmm. You also gave Kuzi and Momo laxatives, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know parents do that for their kids, but, but please walk us through what is happening there. You know, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a norm. Yeah. We actually do that. Uh, we grew up, uh, even ourselves, we were giving us for them to be energetic and all that because December time they eat and drink all this colorful steam bus. <laughs> and they finish the whole fridge, by the way. Um, uh, <laughs> before, before the show my trended, yeah. we had a fridge video. Yeah. Fridge trended before the show my <laughs> It was so packed and cozy and our papa and momo mm -hmm. they made sure that they mm -hmm. There is no mercy. Mm. The kids 
mm. under our roof, they will live with our rules. Okay. So they know everyone before December they do. Before they reopen in the school, they do. Are we doing cake? No, I am taking no. on Christmas. You're telling the truth. Thank you, Angel. Yeah, Thank you. Bugs, so Bugs matriculated as well. I mean, how, how are you feeling, Nader? I mean, you've wrapped 12 years of schooling. What's the plan with your life? Uh, actually, uh, I have worked very hard to achieve, but yeah. I have achieved. Uh, and I'm looking forward to to upgrade my my mathematics because uh, mm -hmm. I didn't achieve a, a level that they want at the university level. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to study uh, medicine at vets. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so you're gonna you're gonna have to stay in ways because there's a lot happening in the house on a day to day basis it seems. <laughs> yeah, but I missed this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he's shy. He's, he's shy. He's, uh, he's the one who's busy. He's like an introvert of some sort, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's a private person. He's a private person. You know? Like even this thing of us coming with things with interviews like this was like our oh, baby. Come on, guys, can't you leave me? We say no, no, son. We are packed. We are a family. We are yeah. unity. You must be with us. And you add. That's the favor you add. So, so we want to catch up with the Guanes and obviously just look at your day-to-day -day lives and what's happening. How do we go about doing that? Okay, now we've got uh, the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, please guys subscribe on our YouTube channel. It is Sumzanzi's Greatest Family on YouTube, Sumzanzi's Greatest Family. And we've got an Instagram page uh, under Tasman underscore Ngwani. Tasman mm -hmm. underscore Ngwani. And we do have uh, our Facebook, Sumzanzi's Greatest Family. And we're also on Twitter at Tasingo, at Tasingo, Mzanzi's Greatest Family. Then uh, there is on radio, by the way, guys. You yeah, know, yeah, he's got the best. <laughs> so, Momo, I just want to know from you, like, do you not get shy when the cameras are on and, and you have to act a certain way? How do you how do you just pretend like they're not around and just go on with your day? I, I pretend like when I need to get around, how I pretend. I pretend good. You pretend good. Yeah. yeah. You pretend as if Kimba is not there. Yes. <laughs> so she's a she's a born for a performer. She's she a, is. Yeah. So who wakes the kids she up is. in the morning to go to school? I mean, you mentioned it's quite an early morning because you guys obviously I have your own business. Okay. Might they walk you take them? Yeah, I do all the morning, half past four. The duty I prepare, I do everything ready. That time he's sleeping because he's from the work. Uh, half past three. Yeah, yeah. So I do all the morning process and I take them to school and now it's a wrap because we have a new business and it's mm. and now it's the Mzanzi Freya's family again. Yeah. So our whole life has been like but the thing is, everyone has their different personalities, which obviously makes life, you know, colorful. So yeah. I want to know from each of you how you would describe each other's character and, and who's who in the family. What do, like, who's the funny one? Who's the serious one? Who's the quiet one? Well, Bucks, you yeah. seem to. Yeah. 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 You're the which ones? Lovely. Oh, the fun ones. Yeah, the fun ones. Yeah, but Kosi, mm. Kosi is what we call, we call him the student of the family. Mm. Yeah, even uh, I think the fans, okay. everybody who follows him on uh, social media, they know that uh, when there's Kosi, there's problem. <laughs> when I see Kosi, you see problem. Oh, oh there's love, yeah. but it's very sweet. Very mm. sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. So, so yeah, Kosi, yeah. how would you describe um, who's who in the family? Yeah. 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 Who's Momo? What does she like? Yeah. She's a funny, loving person. You okay. can get her on her. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Pax? She's a reserved person. Yeah. She's a reserved person. Yeah. Okay. And, and Mate Boko, how mm -hmm. would you describe Mommy? She's very loving. Oh, and and then your dad? He spoils us. He spoils us. He spoils us. you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so why the decision to 
to involve South Africa and perhaps the African continent of the world actually into your private lives? I mean, you know, the family space is quite sacred. So, so what do you think you have to offer that, 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 that's uh, worth viewing? Actually, uh, before we do everything, uh, I've sat down with my wife. Uh, because every day, uh, what you see on the news uh, is only like a, a negative energy coming to family, divorce, uh, uh, broken families, then we thought, I said, baby, let's try to come with something that will rekindle the culture of uh, unity in families. Uh, then now we put our life there for South Africans to see that there's still hope. You know, you can still be friends to your wife. You can, I, I've been with her for a period of uh, 20, years. 20 years. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, we are, our love is like we've met yesterday, you know, and then uh, we are friends with our kids. There's still hope because most of the time what we hear is negative energy coming to family. People don't believe in family anymore. Mm -hmm. Then what we're trying to do as the Guan is we're trying to rekindle that culture, that culture of uh, uh, happy family, uh, the culture of unity in the family is what we're trying to do. That is why we're laying a, a, like everything on the street. Even we can even open a fridge for you to show you that there's nothing in the house. You yeah. know, we can show anything. We how how are you aiming to balance you know the kids' lives with the, this public um, yeah personas and obviously the private lives that they have so that they're not swayed by by society mm. what's happening. How how do you balance that as parents? Uh, with that one, you know what we did because uh, during the school holidays. Uh, we were sending the video maybe each and every day. Yeah. But now because the guys are at school now, we're trying to, to respect their privacy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to respect their time. Then uh, from now on, maybe uh, our people are going to have only one video a week. Okay. Uh, but now... We're hoping so. We're hoping so. We're hoping so because uh, he's the idea whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But if the idea pops, then we shoot. Okay. He's the brain, he's the engine, he's the uh, gasoline, he's the everything, he's the... So it's the year 2020. What can we expect for, for, from you guys for this year? Guys, something big is coming this year. Uh, we are busy negotiating with different channels. Mm -hmm. uh, the people, they want them when it's on their television. Yeah. Uh, Twitter have spoken, Facebook have spoken, YouTube have spoken, even Africa. Uh, Tanzania has spoken, uh, Zimbabwe has spoken, uh, Malawi has spoken. Wow. People, they just want their family mm. on uh, television. So you're, in, you're bringing energy and authenticity yes. and, and yourselves to the to We've been now. And you're bringing them up. Well, that was Nkwane, so otherwise known as Mzanzi's greatest family. Of course, it was Hosi, Bugs, Matebojo, Momo, and um, Tessman. They were just sharing some of their tips uh, for uh, the year ahead. Obviously, 2020 um, school years kicked off again. Thank you to the family for joining us. And I guess we'll tune in when you're... Thank you. 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 Thank you.